Hello and welcome to the free Oscar video training series by OscarHost.ca. My name is Jordan Visco and in the next 15 minutes or so I'm going to try and take you through the prescriptions module in Oscar. So I have a demonstration instance of Oscar set up in my next tab here. And the first thing to note about the prescriptions in Oscar is you can access it from a lot of different places. So if you wanted to uh, write a prescription for a patient who is coming in for an appointment, you can just click the Rx link on the appointment. You can also go to the search link here and you can uh, search for a patient and write a prescription from the Rx link right beside their name. You can go into a demographic profile and you can write a prescription uh, right from here from this prescriptions link under the clinical modules. And you can also go into an e-chart uh, from there or from here or you can go into an e-chart from uh, the appointment screen and you can write a prescription from there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the encounter screen here and you can click on the medications link, uh, the purple link on the top right. And uh, you can either click on the medications or you can click on the little plus and it'll bring you to the same spot. So this is the uh, searching for a drug uh, prescription window in Oscar. Um, your cursor's highlighted already in the drug name spot, so all you have to do is start typing in the drug name and it'll give you a list of, uh, of drugs that you could prescribe for a patient. Down below here you have a history of uh, things that have been prescribed to the patient. On the left hand side you have some favorites uh, that you might want to quickly prescribe. Um, on the top you have the patient's name and age and uh, preferred pharmacy. Uh, this is for if you're using the uh, e-faxing features of Oscar to uh, send faxes directly from Oscar to a, a pharmacy. So uh, again, drug name here. Uh, I'm just going to use something simple like aspirin. You have to type at least three letters in to get this drop down box to come up. Uh, and the more letters you type in, the better of a search it'll do. So I'm going to type in the full name for aspirin. The uh, drugs that show up are either you know, white or gray like this. If they're gray, uh, then they're uh, inactive drugs. So choose wisely. Uh, I'm going to choose this one here, aspirin 81 milligrams and it's going to start creating a prescription for me here and I can add instructions and quantity and all that sort of stuff. If I wanted to write a prescription for multiple drugs I can actually just type in the name of a second drug here and select it and I can add two drugs uh, just like that. Um, if I wanted to remove one of these drugs, say if I had chosen the wrong one, I can just click the little X beside it and it'll go away or I can click the reset button actually and it'll remove all of them. Um, under the drug name as well, if I start typing in aspirin and I uh, you know, don't want to look through this big list, if I wanted to, I could also click this search. And it'll search for any generic names. Uh, if I typed in a drug name, it would show me the generic drug names here and then the brand names on the right hand side and I can click through those to write a prescription as well. So, but again, I'm just gonna uh, type in aspirin, select what I want and um, continue on from here. So it's important to note that uh, now that I've selected this drug here, uh, if I start typing in any changes in this name box here, um, it's going to actually change the name of the drug in Oscar and there will be a warning that pops up um, that asks you if you want to do that. It's not a good idea so I'd, uh, I'd recommend just uh, leaving this box alone. In the instructions box here, um, you can go through and start typing in the instruction and this is actually what's going to be written on the prescription so you can write here whatever you want. Uh, but there's a little trick to the instructions and that's that um, writing instructions in certain formats will tell Oscar um, the duration. Uh, you can see there's this duration and right now it's set to zero but certain instructions will tell Oscar what the duration uh, that the patient is on that medication for. So Oscar will know if it's a current medication, if the patient's on it, or or uh, if they're not on it. So I'm going to go in and uh, write an instruction 1OD. And uh, now Oscar knows. You see as soon as I click into the next box it's telling Oscar that they're going to be taking one uh, per day. And if I enter a quantity in here of 60, uh, then it knows that they're taking one a day for 60 days and so you can see the quantity box here gets filled out and the duration um, gets entered as 60. So n now when I create this prescription, Oscar's going to know that the duration is 60. Now, if you just wanted to write something else in here, like um, uh, take one pill orally daily, Oscar's not going to recognize that. Um, 
So, um, actually, it actually did. Uh, but there are certain instructions that you can write in here that Oscar will not recognize. So if I just put in a string of letters like that, um, Oscar is not going to know what the duration is. So you can actually, there's a few things that you can write into this instruction box, and there's a little guide on uh, writing instructions and how that, um, how Oscar will know what you mean. And so if you click the little question mark here, you can see when I hover over it, it says field reference. Uh, it's going to bring up this field reference instructions and certain combinations of these methods, roots, frequencies, numbers, and durations will tell Oscar certain things. So uh, one appropriate instruction as I already went through is 1OD. Another one might be uh, take two daily. Uh, so take two and then uh, daily is a, a frequency instruction. So if I ty type in take two daily and then I put a quantity of 60, then Oscar's going to know that my duration is 30. And uh, so it's going to mark that this patient is on this drug for 30 days. So again, you can use this field reference guide uh, to kind of find out instructions that'll work. Um, other things that will work are things like uh, take one twice daily will work. Um, uh, apply one three times daily will work. Uh, and those are all instructions that are um, in this field reference guide. Where did I move it to? I moved it to somewhere. So um, when you're done writing your prescription here, you can enter a few other things. So repeats, if you want, you can uh, put repeats in it. So if you put two repeats, then Oscar's going to know that uh, you're uh, repeating this prescription twice, and it'll put the duration uh, accordingly. And you can also mark it as a long-term medication. So uh, if you want, you can mark certain drugs as long-term medications, and then you can click the Represcribe Long-Term Medications button, and you can have all those medications uh, represcribed on one prescription uh, really quickly and easily. So when you're done here, um, you can just save the drug if you want, but you probably want to print it out. Uh, so you can click the Save and Print button. And I'm just going to maximize the screen here. So uh, there's a bunch of options on the screen. Um, you can see here your prescriptions on the left, your information's up top here, your patient's information's going to throw get thrown in here. Um, the prescription information will go here. If you wanted to add additional notes, you can add additional notes here. And just click Add to Rx, and it'll show down at the bottom. Uh, you can sign it. Uh, you can either print this out just by clicking the Print button, um, or you can e-sign it here if you would like and click save and if you do that it'll go flow onto the signature thing here. If you're doing uh, e-faxing uh, you can actually write this with a, a faxing tablet or sorry with a, uh, a writing tablet uh, like a Wacom Bamboo or other writing tablet and, uh, and that'll make that a lot easier and then you can press the, uh, the e-fax button which will show up here uh, once that's been enabled but uh, we haven't done that for this test instance. Um, if you want, you can click the print PDF and it'll make a little nice PDF that you can save to your desktop if you wanted to do that. Uh, you can also click the print and paste into EMR which will print it out and then it'll also um, paste the prescription into your current encounter note. Uh, if you didn't want to print it at this point, you can click close window and if you realize that you made a mistake at this point, you can click the edit RX button. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm just going to click the print button and it's going to ask me which printer and I'm going to print it to my PDF printer which is uh, basically just going to make a PDF of it on my computer and uh, voila it's going to save it and I click save and, and, and we're done. <clears throat> so to get back into the medications again you would just uh, click the medications link here and you can see now that uh, this patient is on uh, this aspirin medication for the next 19 days based on the duration that we had set. Um, so I'll just go back and uh, show you a few other things about writing these medications. So first of all, we're going to type in aspirin, and we're going to select the one that we want. And uh, the previously used instruction uh, and quantity for this medication will show up by default. And you can go ahead and um, select you know, you can leave it as it is, or you can go ahead and select these and, and change it if you want. Um, also, if you click this little um, 
star beside the instructions box. You can see other instructions that have been used for this drug and you can uh, you know, choose the one that you want and it'll slide in here. Also if you wanted to add in additional instructions other than you know, what you're writing into this box you can click the instructions link and you can add a special instruction and that'll show up on the uh, prescription for you. And um, you can also, if you wanted to change the duration or change the uh, uh, any of these method, root, frequency, minimum, maximum, all this stuff, you can change it just by clicking on those and, and editing um, uh, those little boxes. So if I wanted to add a method, um, you can do that as well. Um, it doesn't actually get written on the prescription, it just saves an Oscar that that's what you're going to do. So again, so we've created this one prescription down here and it says that uh, it was for 20 days and now it's 19 days to expire. Um, if you're wondering why the different colors are showing here, you can see that in the profile legend uh, for this grid. And if you click on profile legend, it'll tell you that orange drugs are a drug that are current but will expire within a reference range. And by default, a reference range is 30 days with an Oscar. So if this drug's going to expire within the next 30 days, it's going to be orange. And if it's a drug that's um, you know not going to expire within the next 30 days, then it'll be current. It'll be bright blue. Anything that's been archived or discontinued um, is going to show with a line through it. Um, and it won't show in the current tab. Uh, the current tab just shows your current drugs. If I wanted to view all drugs for this patient, I can click the All button. This patient doesn't have any other ones, but uh, you know you could have a, a long list of all drugs that have been discontinued or, or removed. Um, if you wanted to uh, reprint a prescription, uh, you can just click the little Reprint button here beside uh, Patient Drug Profile, and uh, you can just if you click the the print there it'll show you a history of all the printings that have been done for that and if you click the name of the drug here it'll actually print a prescription out for that again Go back into medications um, if you want to print out a, a drug history you can click the print button here and it'll it'll show you a drug history for the patient um, if you have drugs that are long-term you can click re-prescribe long-term medications and it'll re-prescribe them all so uh, again you can um, say that drugs are long-term when you're prescribing them uh, by checking the box. So I'll show you that here. So you just check this long-term medication box here and uh, it'll mark them as long-term med. If you forgot to do that and you wanted to change a drug to be long-term after the fact, you can click the little L beside LT med and uh, it's going to give you this pop-up that says are you sure you want to change the drug to a long-term med and you click OK. That gives you this little red star, and uh, it's just kind of an interim uh, thing. It hasn't actually changed yet, and until you click that little red star, uh, it doesn't turn black, and now this black drug is a long-term medication. It's uh, now in italic font, and if I click re-prescribe long-term meds, it's going to re-prescribe that one. And so uh, if you had a patient with a whole bunch of them, it makes it easy to re-prescribe those um, you know, at certain intervals. Uh, you can also discontinue a drug by clicking discontinue. It'll ask you for a reason for the discontinuation. Uh, and you can add a comment there as well. And if you want, you can just click the delete button and it'll uh, archive this uh, and so it won't show in current medications. If you want to have the medication showing here but you want to hide it from the chart, all these medications that are current are actually going to show on the chart. If I refresh this chart here, um, you can see that aspirin is showing there and uh, that's the one that we uh, just prescribed and if you want it to not show on the chart anymore you just check that box and um, you don't have to save or anything like that you can just close the window <clears throat> and if I refresh again aspirin's now gone so that's how you hide it from the, <clears throat> the CPP or cumulative patient profile uh, if you wanted to write a little annotation you can click this text box and a little annotation thing will show up here and uh, you can also add in a reason for prescribing the drug if you wanted based on an ICD-9 code here. Um, if you click on the name of the medication or if you click on the entered or start start date, they all take you to the same place. Uh, they take you to a history of that drug for this patient. And if you want from here, you can re-prescribe it, you can write an annotation for it, you can add it to your favorites so it'll show on the left hand side. Or you can uh, click on the drug for the full details of that prescription. 
and it'll give you all the information including the additional information that you may have entered for this particular drug. And so I'll go and show you how you enter that additional information now if you wanted. So um, <clears throat> again we'll go back into medications and we're going to enter aspirin and we're going to select the one that we want and if you wanted to enter any additional information other than the stuff that's listed here if you click the little more link uh, it opens up a whole bunch of additional things here and I've kind of touched on doing favorites and there's a little add to favorite button here this is the one you normally use to add things to your favorite so you just click add to favorite and uh, and that'll show up on the left here and, and the reason that's really cool is because if we you know if you're prescribing aspirin a lot um, you just click the little aspirin link and it adds it right away with all your um, instructions so it's a, a really quick way to start adding drugs for patients again if we click the more button um, that's where that add to favorite is here uh, once you've added a few to your favorites actually you can click the um, copy button or the edit button and if you click edit that'll allow you to delete some of your favorites or edit the dosages but if you click the copy button you can actually copy favorites from other providers in your Oscar instance so if you have uh, you know John in your clinic has set up a whole bunch of favorites and you wanted to copy his favorites over um, you can select John's name here if he's shared his favorites and uh, you can check the ones that you want to copy to your favorites and then click copy and they'll copy into your favorites and then uh, your favorite share settings down here so this is uh, whether or not you're going to share your favorites with other people in your clinic um, so we'll go back so that's uh, yeah that's the favorite section which is quite helpful um, so we're gonna again go and do aspirin and we're going to do more. So there's a, a bunch of different uh, options here. I Honestly, I'm not certain exactly why you'd want to use all of these, uh, but a few that are um, certainly important is a start date. So by default, a start date is today's date. Um, if you had written a prescription, this one has a duration of 30 days. Um, it's going to start on today's date, but if you are entering it after the fact or if the patient had started taking it already, uh, you'd want to change the start date so Oscar actually knows um, the date that the patient started so that they know that the date, the, date the patient's actually going to be off the drug. Other options in here are, uh, for instance, prescribed by outside provider. So if you check that box, it'll ask you who the outside provider was and who their OHIP number uh, was or their prescriber number. Uh, this is an Ontario thing, but uh, you could enter any prescriber number in there. Uh, none of this information, again, actually gets saved onto the prescription. It just uh, goes um, onto that, that drug's history. If I click the drug's name and then go through to, to view the prescription information, uh, it all gets saved there. So it doesn't actually show up in any of these reports or anything, uh, but you know, if you wanted to save this information, you could. Um, also, if it was a uh, past medication that uh, a patient had been on that had been previously ordered, um, you could uh, check that it was a past medication as well, and then the written date goes back in, uh, in time to the beginning of time. Um, so that's another option. Um, but uh, those are the advanced options of, of writing a prescription. So in a nutshell, that's uh, prescriptions in Oscar. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line. Uh, you can reach us through our website through the Contact Us link. Um, our toll-free phone number and our email address is there, and uh, feel free to, to shoot us an email anytime. I hope you found this uh, video useful.